What's up, guys? It's Chris at F22. We're here at NAB 2016 talking about some of our favorite things. We're super, super excited to be talking about this. We're here with Adam, the North American Communications Director, Adam Lisberg. Uh, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the uh, DJI Osmo with the X5R camera. Um, so I guess first off, what, what is this camera? So this is an amazing piece of handheld imaging technology here. A lot of your viewers are probably familiar with the Osmo with the X3 on top. It's, uh, it's the same, ba it's the identical grip here that uh, links to the smaller X3 camera. And people are amazed because it's the same kind of gimbaling that we built first to fly on drones, and then we said, why not use it for handheld situations too? It gives you amazing stability, gives you amazing control. You can do a hyperlapse or a time lapse handheld. It's that stable. So uh, it's so popular that people wanted to know why don't we take the X5, the Zenmuse X5 yeah. series of cameras yeah. that we mount on the Inspires, why can't we have that same kind of camera range on here? Now you do. Now this is a particularly tricked out model here. Um, it has two things that you don't have to have, but they're certainly fun to play with when you really like the ability here. Oh, this is the one we're getting, no doubt. Uh, this yeah, is the so, one we're getting. So this is the pro model that, uh, that the, the, the model that shoots raw. So this extra adapter on here, uh, you can see it's got its own vents and everything. Um, this is what it equips it to shoot in raw mode and to store 500 something gigabytes of, of filming or stills you, if you want it, I suppose. At, uh, at up to 16 per, per image uh, onto this removable solid state drive. So not for everyone, but when you really want to be able to shoot that kind of quality video and you want to be able to store it and work with it, you want to shoot in raw mode, here you can do it on a one-handed rig. The other piece of equipment in here that you might not have seen before on, the, on something that's aimed at the sort of high end of the consumer is a follow focus rig. So you can have a colleague of yours pulling focus wirelessly while you're walking, moving through a tight situation. And this is the same follow focus that you can use on the Ronin, yep. the Ronin M, the MX, yep. with yep. the little motor. Yeah. What but this doesn't have a motor; it just directly goes into. Is this so? The, explain. I guess this adapter is probably a good yeah, thing. Yeah. So the too. adapter. Uh, a lot of the technology in here is aimed at making sure that the. It's all built around the gimbal. You know, the gimbals are where the motors are. The gimbals are where the uh, the secret sauce of our technology comes in. Um, that it, it is. Uh, and it's also what eats up a lot of the battery is, is, and that's what determines a lot of your battery life, is how well that gimbal is going to hold a shot, is going to be able to follow you, and what kind of rough conditions. You know, you could be, we, we sell uh, vehicle mounts and other kinds of mounts that if, it's, if you're mounting this on the bumper of a car for a shot or the, the hood of a car, and it's constantly making adjustments to follow along, you yeah. know, it's going to be chewing through a little more yeah. battery life. I was really impressed. I've used this, and, I've, and I, I didn't use your guys' mount because your guys didn't, you didn't have the adapter yet. Right. But I used the X5, and the battery life was fantastic. And what I yeah. loved about it is I could just pop it on, mm -hmm. and it was just, and it was stable. And yeah. I didn't have to go, and I didn't have to right. balance anything. Yeah. And that, to me, when I'm shooting quick stuff and I need to get a cool shot, you know, um, real quick, that, that was like, perfect for that situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, you know, the whole uh, evolution of DJI's product is every time that we come up with a great solution for one situation, people say, why can't you use it in another? You got a great gimbal for up in the air, why can't I use it on the ground? Well, you got a great grip for doing basic stuff on the ground, why can't you soup that up with a better camera? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's, yeah. it's an evolution that a lot of people in the it, imaging world really love. It's good problems to have. It's yeah, good exactly. problems to have. Yeah, so. yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the monitor um, here? The monitor is this amazing device called an iPhone, but it also works with <laughs> Android, um, and it, you know our our DJI Go software is also uh, you can also use it on tablets. So you've probably seen that on our drones. It's nice to have a bigger screen to work off of, especially when you're looking for flight data as well. Yeah. You know they work on a phone as well, um, and so this connects to the same DJI Go app that you use for our drones. And it's uh, you know it's intuitive. It, we're we're getting a lot of RF in here, which is why I'm not showing you a detail. Right. Yeah. The, yeah. The, uh, I, I, yeah. yeah. For, for for all of you not at NAB, if you try looking for a hotspot, it's like going yeah. through the phone no, book. We're hard lined in here too. Yeah. 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 So uh, <laughs> you, you know it, it's pretty rare that you'd be using it in this situation with as much as RF yeah. bursting through your body yeah. as you have right here. Um, but it, it connects wirelessly to the body here, and you can control everything you need through here. So it's, cool. it's a really great filmmaking cool, tool. Cool. And I guess just lastly, can you just yeah. run over uh, the specs of the camera and just tell me a little bit more so, about yeah, like the, some of the specifics the of that? The X5, it, it's the same as the X5 that you've been using on your drones. You have interchangeability. So. You, uh, you have the same specs as you have on the F X5 that you use on an Inspire. Um, you've got 12.8 stops of dynamic range. You can shoot 16, uh, 16 megapixel stills. You know, everybody loves to talk about video, 
But um, I think people forget a lot. These, both the handhelds and our drones, are amazing still photography tools too. You know, for the drones, being able to go 25 feet up in the air to shoot a scene on a front lawn, that's a cherry picker that you don't have to rent or a ladder that you don't have to fall off. And, and in the it's same situation here, you know, if you're out in a windy environment, I mean, how many times have you ever tried to get a great photo on a windy day on the beach and there's an amazing scene there and, you know, you've got to be, you can't use anything short of a thousandth of a second to, you know, to get the kind of stability and the, and the kind of rich detail that you want. This can make up for that. Very cool, and you and this is uh, your guys' lens here, yes, right? Yes, this but is. But it'll also support what three other lenses? Uh, right yes, yes, I believe that's yes. Here's here's your DJI logo right here. You know it's original product. <laughs> I love it. I love so, it. So and you know the beauty of the interchangeability is you never know what's coming next out of our labs. Cool, very cool. Well, yeah. thank you so much for talking yeah, to me. Yeah. I really appreciate it. I'm super super excited to get Great. this out in the field and try Great. it out. So. Awesome. Thank All you. Right.